In this lecture, I want to discuss something called content projection. I'll give you a quick example of how this works and we can head over to our name component .html. At this point in time, we have a very simple component that simply displays a name on screen inside of a paragraph tag. But what if you're passing this component off to somebody else or you want to give this component a dynamic template. So perhaps you want to instantiate a different template in different times throughout our application. Well, for this, we'd use something called content projection. And this is where we add an ng-content tag into our component. So prior to this, I'm going to add a quick paragraph tag that simply says name. And then underneath, we are going to have that ng content. Let's save the file right now. And we can then see that we have this name on screen, but we do not have our person's name. And the way that we do that is head back over to our app component.html. So inside of our app component, if we take a look at our name component, we currently have three instances. Each time we're passing in this name equal to Paul Halliday, then John Doe and Sarah Doe. At this point in time, I want to remove the name input. Just because we're using content projection doesn't mean that we shouldn't have an input in this scenario. I just want to show how we can use different templates for the same component. So let's do the same now and add a H1 for Paul Halliday. I'll add a H2 for John Doe and a H3 for Sarah Doe. And if we save the file and I'm simply going to zoom out a little bit, you can see that we have three different templates for the same component. This is using something called content projection. So essentially anything inside of that ng content is simply being injected into this component. Now you don't have to follow along at this point, you can simply watch, but if we were to provide our app components with a list of names, for example, if we simply said Paul Halliday, and we'll change the other names for now. So that would be Kevin Smith. And then of course, something like Terry Johnson. I am going to remove all of the other code at this point because we don't need the view children or the view child anymore. We can also remove our implements and import for after view init. And I'll remove the button too. So we're left with this app component that simply has the app name three times. Let's remove the other two times. And we'll do an ng4 on this component. This allows us to simply say let name of names. And of course we can pass in the name as an input. That's awesome for us because then we can define the template that we want using content projection. So if we then bound to the name, you can see that now our component app name is rendering this component three times but we get to decide how we want our template to look. For example, if we wanted to use this in a different scenario and instead we wanted these to be paragraph tags, by being able to change it like this, we have a lot more flexibility. So that's how we can start using content projection. So why don't you play around with content projection yourself? Use ng content to dynamically create a template for your component. Use ng4 to iterate over your component multiple times. And this will allow you to truly see the benefits of dynamic templates.